So we ended up going to Rocky Mountain National Park. Turns out that dogs are allowed on the road. You just drive through the park like this um, and we can walk Lou along these roads and also at picnic areas. Um, he's not allowed in the trails. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful guys, gorgeous. So we just started our hike on Lily Mountain. It's gorgeous. Um, just to give you guys a look, we're right on the trail and this is our view. Really narrow ridge line. that view. I think we're almost on top. This might be the summit that they were talking about. Uh, Lily Mountain. It's not. We're not even there yet. Louis having a great time. the mountain. We just sat to take a little water break. Louis um, is getting a little tired, but I know he's pushing through. He's got a lot of stamina. Blue healers do, so <laughs> we give him a little water. Um, but yeah, he's real curious up here. Seems like he's having a great time. Um, we've been passing strangers, and if you guys have watched my previous YouTube videos, Louis is not so keen to strangers, especially in public. Um, and actually, now that he's like tired, he he doesn't really mind them. Like we walked this close to children, and he will literally he acts like children are like squirrels, will <laughs> chase them. Um, and he walked right by, and he was fine. So I'm really happy with that. You know, when we're going through public public places like this, it kind of gets me you know annoyed and frustrated when he acts out. Um, so I'm actually really relaxed and happy that he's um, doing good. He's being a good boy. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we're at the top. So guys, we made it to the top, or as far as we can go for now, because I am so lightheaded. I am so tired. <laughs> but look at this view. Wow. 
Yeah, so the whole time we saw over there while hiking up and now we get up here to this rock and it shows you the whole other side. All right, time to head down the mountain and get something to eat. We're probably gonna try and find a swimming hole or something. Um, so I'll catch up with you guys once we're out and down off the mountain. Mm-hmm. So we're back in the van, we made it down. I can't believe it. It felt like we were never gonna make it down from that mountain. We were both beat. We made ourselves some chicken sandwiches and now we're driving through the Rocky Mountain National Park to go to our campground um, where we're staying tonight. Um, it's Peak One Campground in Colorado. So this is the road that we're on to take us to our campground. It's the mountain pass through the Rocky Mountain National Forest. hazardous weather like the weather changes so rapidly and we're passing people and they're like all putting extra clothes on so we're like okay let's open the windows and see it's freezing it is freezing like oh my god we were just in like 70 degree weather and I bet it's probably like 45 50 it's freezing oh my god this is beautiful <laughs> But uh, yeah, Louie is so tuckered out. This is what he does while we're driving. He's so good, just snuggles right up in my lap. What an angel. So guys, now that we are out of the Rocky Mountain National Park, I wanted to do a little quick recap of what I thought about the park. Let me tell you, if you're coming to Colorado, you have to go through Rocky Mountain National Park. It was freaking beautiful. We already saw like three, what is it, elk? Is that the, yeah, we saw like three elk. Um, that was like the biggest wildlife we saw. I saw like little critters and stuff like that. But um, yeah, beautiful mountains. The road that we went through takes you all the way up to the Continental Divide and then all the way down. So you're just driving through the mountains. Um, from the shots that I previously showed you, you can see how beautiful it was. Um, really relaxing drive through the mountains. Throughout the park, there are campsites that you can pull off and um, you know set up your camp for free. But there's also, oh, we found the springs. Okay, um, anyway. Uh, there's also campgrounds that you can pay for, they have to pay for, and I think they have amenities like including showers and stuff. So if you did want that luxury, then um, I think one campground was like $18 a night, so not too bad. Um, yeah, so we paid $25 for a day pass. You can pay $35 for a seven day pass if you wanted to stay overnight or longer than one day. But yeah, I highly recommend Rocky Mountain National Park. It was gorgeous.